It is believed that former Superintendent Pete Lewis had information of alleged misconduct of district employee Claude Falks, who was accused of sexual abuse of a student dating back to the year 2009. Board members learned of this in a timeline released by investigators, something they say began as small. It snowballed from there in terms of the knowledge that we believe that um, he had and that the investigators concluded that he had. Since waiving his rights to a pre-termination hearing, Pete Lewis has taken an interim superintendent position at a school in Washington, one that allegedly fired another employee for sexual misconduct with a student. It is really concerning to us that, that the board there isn't uh, reaching out to board members here. Um, and to clarify some of the things that are out there, we are not, we have not been notified of arbitration. So we are not currently in arbitration with Mr. Lewis. Other employees were placed on administrative leave in connection to the investigation. That includes Labor Relations Director Gail Pierce, who now retired, but also handled another case with an undisclosed district employee who was paid to leave the position held due to misconduct. He conducted several investigations surrounding Mr. Folks, and uh, unfortunately the information, what, what's come about during the investigation uh, that we had done by Perkins Coie is that uh, her investigations did not fully, fully incorporate all uh, information and all pieces of evidence. The investigation that the board believed would be brief is still ongoing with new leads turning up. We're cooperating with uh, the Alaska State Troopers as they um, work on the on the criminal case against Mr. Falks, and so that is a piece that we hope that people remember when we when we can't say a lot. It's because we have a, a criminal case pending uh, with Mr. Falks. We also have victims. We have uh, privacy rights of students and staff. So you know, there's a lot for us to have to consider when we when we do make statements to the media. I'm Stephanie Woodard reporting.